welcome back Camilleans to my channel with Father Liar who will be travelling with me with this travelling with SB series of what's left to come for us. So this next part of the segment that I'm going to take you all on with Father Liar and myself is going to be Nelson and with Nelson it's going to have a bit of brief history in the next video over but I'm going to just do a quick one to show you what we got up to for the first day of the two or three days we decided to stay before we started deciding to you know head back up to our homeland of the Manawatu Wellington region so hopefully you're enjoying these let me know smash the like comment below if you want to see more of these in the future my hope is like I said and one of my goals is to travel more hopefully either around my homelands or even getting that confidence boost to actually travel overseas so sit tight and I'll be back with you shortly thanks for watching And we're back, Chameleon. So as I'm taking you all on a journey through Nelson right now for the last two, three days of our trip base in Nelson, you will see right now that we went to, into a bar, cocktail and whiskey bar down Hardy Street called Kismet Cocktail and Whiskey Bar. And the server, Adrian, at the night basically was really good with us. He was really friendly and really attentive. And in the imagery, you will see obviously just mine because I misplaced a photo of what Father Lai had when we were down there was based on the cocktails I had was Chili Ch Chaplin and Peachy Blender. Meanwhile, Father Lai had Balbeer Highland Whiskey. It was 12 years old as well as a second taster of the whiskey range. He had Speyside Bel Belveen this side, which was another 12 year old whiskey. As you can see basically for this bar it's in itself. It has a huge wide range of cocktails and whiskies for you all to enjoy as well as great service for food and what have you range of entrees and I think from memory when we were there for the night for our first night in Nelson it was based on maybe they did serve some dinners as well as some live music which Father Lai and I decided we didn't want to stay up too late for the very first night while we were coming back from our previous trip. So sit tight, I'll be back with you shortly also. And don't forget, most of the destinations I'll be having, hopefully, if I can find them all uh, on the map, as well as in the description box below you. And I'll see you all again soon.
today I'm going to quickly here with you boy and I'm going to do a brief outline about what it raises in the title of my video of Patreon obviously the host of my podcast that I've just recently been doing since 2020 as well as also inside this the host of my channel of SB Answers as my LS name for most of my socials and saying that those of you who are new also today I am a young autistic female who's from New Zealand with a host of mental health conditions of anxiety, social anxiety, OCD and the like and so on and so forth what I do here on my channel and everywhere you may see me is I educate, advocate for those about mental health and autism along with also navigating through life with autism and mental health on my own to gain clear about it and understanding about what life is all like for me as an autistic as well as sharing my life experiences with these two different types of conditions or more as I'm sharing clearly with you today. I'm really passionate about what I do be it the health science realm versus the nature animals and everything else in between them and in saying this I started the channel of YouTube in the year of 2016 that came the birth obviously along with the podcast in 2020 and in saying this also that before the YouTube started I decided to create a vlog blog post or blog page which like whatever you want to call it of life of an Andy web dot web dot com which all this will be linked in the video today for you guys to have a based on this also what I'm really wanting to address to you guys is that the reasons to why you should be pleading to me through Patreon or any other funding sites that you see me creating right now is basically for my mission statement of course for the very first one is I truly believe that I can make a difference with others around me that associates with me as I do have similar conditions and I do basically in saying this that I may be able to understand to a point that should be able to give you maybe some form of advice or listening ear or whatever you may need at that given moment of time you shouldn't be alone or what have you I am really an empathetic person obviously I'm an empath I obviously feel so deep by, uh, by people's feelings moods and the you know outer interior of them of their aura versus the environment we're in hearsay and i believe that with these challenges that we face i, I usually can kick it to the curb or i can actually face it head on so i'm trying to be the number one person for you guys be it via your voice via your voice or whatever it may be and that we can tackle the challenge together and what have you in my purpose i believe also that i can support all people from all walks of life no matter what it is calls from all walks of life no matter what it is to take control of their life and their their own lives and having the right resources around them to support them regardless if it's by through my channel or maybe in saying this when I'm doing my advocacy training that hopefully we can find some resources for you guys I believe also when I do this I can walk alongside with you so that you don't have to face what you go through alone every day creating new opportunities and building up friendships with others know that there will be always something there no matter what it may be obviously I'm here to not judge you guys not to criticize you guys so i believe that i can be your number one person regardless who it is and what have you i also believe also that it is important to have our voices and stories to be told regardless what it may be to be able to also you know defend and safeguard our own rights because obviously we have our human rights sort of thing and also having our views or your guys views also and which is generally considered when decisions are being made about your life if i do become a, a proper advocate support person or what have you since why I'm trying to train. So my aims and goals before I continue on is to advocate, educate and mentor others on and off the spectrum of autism and mental health sort of thing. So as for the advocacy part here, I want to mention as per what it reads above and the purpose of my as an advocate or what I'm sharing with you today is I will do my utmost best to achieve everything that's required of me to do the duties at hand for you guys to be that boy number two is the educational side of it is as for educating others i will lead by example give my intellectual moral and social instruction to someone typically at a school or university or someone else maybe in training or some form of information on a particular subject based on autism or mental health for example in this case i will plan to educate others that are interested in learning more about mental health and autism to raise more awareness along with the understanding of it all and remembering the stigma and stereotyping of it all along with also in saying this basically that to know that autism is a different ability not a disability and last but not least mentoring with all of this in mind that i have shared so far via through videos or even when i've been getting to know people around me i believe that i should be trusted along with giving my sound advice based on my lived experiences and what i've been through that others are willing to 
to learn and grow from what they grow through to be or to become a better person in the future. By supporting others, it will be my duty to do my utmost best to find the right means of support systems or services through myself or the organisations that I may be working for and assisting them in the future to be sure that every need is met. Again, to remove the stereotyping about autism and mental health and mental disorder, which it's not. To remove any mis and misconceptions, misunderstandings, misgivings about autism especially because obviously there's still a lot of misunderstandings as well as hopefully feeling accepted by our peers or whoever to create an understanding of to what Spurgeon's syndrome is really about for me while I'm living with it on a day-to-day -day basis. So the main part of this video I want to quickly hopefully address if I can aim to finish today is you know what is Patreon you may be asking me. Patreon is a service or a membership platform for content creators like me that are creating vlogs or music vlogs or whatever for the more outlet that they're doing sort of thing to pay a monthly fee towards us as you guys decide to become a patron on board sort of thing to hopefully work toward anything that we want to do be it behind the scenes exclusive videos what have you live videos and whatever it may be well not my sort of reason for you want to support me is just based on what I shared with you is to educate and navigate through life with autism and mental health along with also mentoring supporting you and the like as I said earlier also I've been saying this with the patron you get the certain tires based on a certain amount that we decide put in and within those tires will have certain things that will hopefully correlate so to speak so when you plead to me this will cover obviously for what it will cover will cover either the cost of my rent or backup supplies of my future endeavors of what I'm doing right now that I'm going to share more of in the next video which is my website creation versus my designs and some equipment I might need if I do create it as a business from home as the life through spreadsheet if you've seen those that some of those might be in my home business I haven't decided yet but again this will be addressed in my video another cost that will cover basically it will be my recording equipment via through doing vlog or even more on my podcast as well as in saying this maybe in the future for that equipment it could be maybe a new PC that I'm dying to need as well as a new cell phone and whatever as well as I'm saying that cover the cost of travel if I need to do some through my training in educational purposes of becoming an advocate support person or what have you in future to upskill my training if need be because I've noticed that obviously in some places we need to actually you know train instead of having our lived experiences to be actually shown that we can do the work um <clears throat> also from saying this it will cover the cost of my merch creation versus also buy through the merch if I you know have this in an amount that I decided that some of the percentage will go towards either one two schools locally around New Zealand where I am and the middle two to maybe put forward to education specialists or what have you to gain a better understanding about autism especially where I wanted to do it and also and saying this maybe to create an educational program or some sort of program and create resources that is valuable to people to know about autism and so on and so forth and also in saying this maybe just have the cost for sort of medical specialists that's where hopefully all the funding will go as you know there is always has been a continuation of change hence why on youtube it is harder these days to monetize obviously due to the you know monetization process versus the analytics and everything else behind the scenes so many of us content creators at this point of time are trying to find solutions to raise our own funds and do what we love to do to do the continuation work of what we do regardless if it's muted where what i'm doing right now as well so in other words also to end this feel free to check my vlogs blogs and everywhere else to um, support me anyway big or small if you want to become a patron today that is really good if not I'm not going to be disheartened it's up to you at the end of the day if you really want to support my projects and causes that I'm doing um, also I'm saying this basically as we know that this is important to me obviously to raise awareness and understanding about autism and mental health especially again with the spectrum of autism because obviously many Many of us statistics just feel that we need to be accepted because we feel like many of us will get rejected by our peers by the misunderstandings this giving the bad autism so hence why I'm trying to stand out like it's all fun somewhere as an advocate a voice for you all regardless of what it may be so that also I'm saying this basically I'm hoping with the contents that I'm creating with you all with the amount you pledge every month that will go towards that and many other projects in the works later on and make better content for you all regardless of it all as well as in saying this to gain a better confidence level for myself or in myself and what I want to strive and achieve for which is what I keep saying about you know raising awareness and understanding by supporting my cause and my channel and either 
the future projects or what have you, regardless where you'll find me, I believe wholeheartedly while we'll work together to break this thing when it's stereotyping on autism and mental health as well as just removing or reminding you guys that autism isn't a disability but a different ability as well as continuing to advocate it hey, you all while navigating through life with autism and mental health. Create a better life as well for myself and others around me by supporting all. So just a quick shout out of the very first patron that has been my lifetime member is my Moise. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing the name wrong, right? Correct me if I'm wrong if this person is watching today. Appreciate this very much and hopefully within saying this there some of the like I said pieces of arms will go towards my future works of what I have to do. And also to any everyone that I have been associating with from the very beginning of my vlogging, vlogging journey right through to now. I appreciate wholeheartedly with some of your support. I know I have been having a lot of naysayers along the way of what's been said about what I can and can't do and that I have proved them wrong obviously and I'm saying this based on this your support, love and guidance means a lot, you know, and that I wouldn't know where I'll be today with some of you that are still with me today, regardless of what it may be. So thanks for all for watching. Do what you love, love what you do. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. Ciao for now. Before I leave you guys today, I want to do a quick shout out for Mal Alf on the Verge of Independence Multimedia Autism Project, which will be listed below of the website as well as in front of me. But I'll take a quick pause and show you guys based on what her website looks like so you get the fear. As you can see, so as you can see basically from what I'm doing for this shout out is to Melissa L based on her website that she wanted me to do a shout out to. Anyone who is interested in future shout outs let me know by commenting below or just private messaging me on my social. And this is what her website obviously looks like to see what it's all about. So obviously from what I can see she's got all these blogs parts of based on what autism is all about so she obviously from what I can understand when I was actually looking into this website that she does autistic, autistic advocacy work similar like what I do and many others that you see the host of so this is a quick shout out once again to Melissa L the link will be in the description and thanks for your support guys and hopefully I'll see you again soon for more videos based on what's to come so sit tight and I'll be back with you shortly.